Oh, just a second. I got to get this selfie up on Instagram. I'll be right with you. There. Perfect. There we go. All right. Welcome to 630 Point of View. It's going to have a great Friday roundtable discussion in store for you. I'm Chris Berg. We've got three millennials with us tonight. We all know it's been a very, very hot discussion as of late, thanks to the CEO of Trail King here in Fargo and down in South Dakota, basically saying, and demographers are saying this as well, these people, the millennial generation, is labeled the entitlement generation. We're going to find out how they feel about that tonight. And with us tonight, Cam Knutson, the king of the bike share program, <laughs> also does some real estate here locally. We've got Ian Godfrey. You're about to graduate from NDSU tomorrow. Almost done. Working radio here locally. And also Trish McDonald does some great work with TNT Fitness. You're also advising as well. That's right. So all three of you millennials, thanks so much for being here. So obviously i got to start with getting your thoughts on this gentleman comes out. And even, like I said, demographers are calling you all the entitlement generation, lazy, no work ethic. I want to play for you. There's a kind of a three or four minute video. Some millennials sort of smashed different pieces together. We've broken it into some segments tonight we want to play for it. We're going to start with this one and give you guys a chance to comment. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. I'm a millennial. And I'm sorry. And I'm sorry. We suck and we know it. We're self-centered. We're entitled. We're narcissistic, lazy, and immature. And we're super sorry about that. <laughs> Trisha, <laughs> what say you? Uh, well, I work with mostly millennials, and I'd say the opposite, but that was funny. <laughs> so, why, why, I mean, and, and again, there's a gentleman from Click Rain down in South Dakota. I think he's 37 or so. Mm -hmm. He's got a digital marketing. He says, look, I think millennials are awesome workers. So is it, is it a blue-collar versus white-collar thing, in your opinion? Um, that's really tough to say. I feel like uh, some of my friends are, who are millennials are the most well-rounded, educated, hard-working, creative um, people that I know. Now, granted, they also prefer a um, lifestyle rather than a long-term wage um, benefit, and they prefer to travel. They like to enjoy life a lot. So what do you mean by lifestyle? Um, they would rather have a comfortable quality of life over um, a long-term um, gain of wealth and that's that's what I see anyway people want to feel invested in a mission and they want to feel like they're doing something bigger than themselves they want to go to work and feel like they're hanging out with friends uh, so some of the rigid eight to five schedules may not be suitable for Millennials Cam why are you guys getting the bum rap then do you think I, I definitely agree that we are, we are a lot different than our parents generation and I, I was lucky to grow up with parents that said you know look we're not perfect uh, we want you to follow things that, that you think we do great. We, all, we want you to change the things that you don't agree with. Um, and so I, I, I agree with Trisha that uh, we're looking for uh, a work environment that's fun, that has a great culture, that uh, we kind of we bring our work, work life into our actual life where we blend them together. And, and we also want a voice uh, at, at work. And so I look at uh, the place that I currently am employed at, and every person from day one, if you're an intern, you come into the, to the company and you're told, hey, you have a voice, we want to hear your concerns, your questions, address it. And that's something that millennials absolutely want. So what I'm hearing both you guys saying, and we'll get to you in a second as you've been out in the workforce, but is it is it's not so much about, hey, Chris, I'm going to go, I'm just going to use arbitrary numbers here, but mm -hmm. here's $100,000, you get two weeks vacation, and that's kind of the perks here versus, hey, maybe we'll pay you 60 grand a year. But like, for example, at Click Rain, they go and they pay for a week, extra week vacation. They pay for half of a service trip internationally. Are those some more of the, the things you're looking for rather than just straight cash? Yeah, absolutely. I, I know some, several people offhand that I can think of even recently that shows the culture, the difference-making career versus the, the pure cash mm -hmm. option. Um, and so that, that is a little more common with millennials. They want those different varieties. Why does that resonate? And, you know, I'm gonna go, why does that resonate with your generation so much? Because I think uh, a lot of it is we feel a need to do something bigger than the previous generation. Uh, I remember reading a study a while back that our generation feels the need to do community service and make charitable donations more. We feel a need to give back. And I think when we have an employer that's willing to work with us on that, whether it be like matching gifts, whether it be like the service missions you're talking about, I think that really does hit a soft spot with us. So there's a gentleman here that talks about, look, I go through 15 to 20 applications. This is more, again, blue collar a uh, guy who runs a business. Um, but I go through 15 to 20 applications. Guys can't pass a drug test. They got a bad criminal record. He said it used to be one in 300 or 400. So, you know, I'm going to go to you on this one because you kind of passed on it. But is it more of a white collar versus blue collar thing? Are you seeing that more of the blue collar millennials are getting a bad rap versus more of the white collar millennials? See, I don't know if it's blue collar versus white collar. I think it's just as simple. There's, there's a generation gap. 
whereas, whereas our generation, we are more technologically advanced and we have to be to do our jobs. Whereas, like, I'm from the Iron Range of Minnesota. I mean, it used to be you'd grow up and you'd go work at Land and Paper or you'd go work at KeyTac or something, but we're working on the technological field and uh, it may give the impression that we're lazier, we're not as productive. I just think there's a misunderstanding. There's a lot of business owners, CEOs, business leaders in our community that watch this show. So I'm going to give each one of you a chance to go, okay, look, if you're looking to recruit me, because I want to share this with you also in the context of we want to obviously recruit more millennials to our area. So if you guys were sitting down with CEOs or business owners or business leaders in our community, each one of you, I want to know and start with you, Tricia, what would you say to them? Go, look, this is what we're looking for when we're looking for that next move or that career move. We are looking for a chance to um, lead and to be lifelong learners. I feel like that's really important to our generation. Uh, we do want to have that flexibility um, in our job to be able to travel or take a vacation because we see the value in that. Um, and we see how those opportunities um, cause us to grow personally. We, but more than anything, I feel like I want to make a difference. And all the people that work with me are invested in the mission of TNT Kids Fitness and Gymnastics. So we all feel like we are going to work and we're a part of something bigger. Is there a number that would pull you out of that? I want to make a difference. Yeah, I'm going to go do this for cash. So far, no. Okay, good. I'm going to give you each 30 seconds. Ian, we'll go to you. I, I think my big thing is opportunities to continue to grow and continue to learn. I think uh, companies that invest that into their employees, like I, one of the companies I work for right now, I mean, that's something we do many times a year is little online training tutorials. Mm -hmm. And it shows that the company values their employees. They value that we're getting smarter, that we're getting more productive. And it also gives a sign that they want us to stay a while, that they're investing all this education mm -hmm. into us. But if it's so important, why don't you just go do it yourself? Why does the company have to pay for it? I, I think it's a, just simply a nice gesture from the company to do it. So it, it. It tells me, it says, hey, you're valuable to us. We want to make you better, and we want point. you to feel value with our company. Cam, 30 mm -hmm. seconds, your thoughts. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is, is starting off with day one, saying, hey, you have a voice. Your voice matters in this company. We want you to help shape the company into the future and be a part of what we're trying to do. Uh, I think that's one of the biggest things that uh, millennials are looking for, is to be a part of it and help uh, shape that company and make it something different. The other thing that I think is extremely valuable, and we learned this on campus with our different organizations we were part of, is, was get out there and do a retreat every once in a while. Sometimes it's so important to uh, change the environment, get out of the work environment, go somewhere where you're getting everyone together in a different setting, uh, and that allows everyone to grow together and, and uh, I think have a little more fun in the office too. You come back from a retreat if it's on yeah. the weekend, and Monday you're fired up, ready to go. So I think that's another thing that companies should look into doing more often. It builds that camaraderie, sort of that X factor that you can't you know, do anywhere else, or any, any way else, Absolutely. I should say. Stay with us. When we come back, much more coming up. We're going to talk about what do they look for in leadership 2016. Do they have any candidates they're high on? Also, we got some amazing feedback last time we were talking about millennials. Some of you think they might be a little coddled than other generations. We'll talk about that as well. But we're going to be doing the night sharing with you some more of these clips from this millennial video as well. Well, here's another clip. Yeah, the baby boomers. You guys were great. He gave us great music. 60s counterculture. Psychedelic drugs. A lot of great movies, too. Jurassic Park was awesome. Good job with that one. We don't know what happened. 